All right, here we are. We're actually in the office right now. I've had a few requests for updates on that bad boy right there. That is the desktop that I got from ExoticPC.com that I had custom built. And I was giving you guys an update on that right now. We're going to start off. It's Here's where a lot of the, all the live streaming, that kind of stuff happens. A lot, some of the video editing and the comments. We have this desk here. That I actually hand built myself. It's not perfect, but hey. Gets the job done. I actually built this whole desk. For less than a hundred bucks. I did it myself. And. We got no space there. And over there has got like literally. No gap. And like no gap. Right there. So right down here we had. The PC. Been doing great. I've had literally no issues from it besides like some of the really high demand games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla and stuff like that it buffered a little bit so with that we come up here we've actually got the Razer Kronos keyboard the Razor Siren mic. Let's see, let me some of this stuff real quick. My old Razor Naga Epic wireless mouse. Love that damn thing. And for the console streamer, my PS4 right there, we have the Razor Ripsaw. Capture card. And of course, you have your wireless charger for your phone. Got some fancy little lights right there. That's all connected to that. Got a wireless valve right there. Our Razor Thresher headphones. With some cheap ass hook that I bought from Lowe's. Perfect for holding. Got the mini fridge with your soda and adult beverages inside there. Then we got a 24 inch or 27 inch curved Samsung TV. Not sure what size this one is. Here's a 19 inch ONN. The Logitech webcam. Got oh, a little O light right there. Actually clips on. Comes in really handy, you can move it. It's got a little phone holster type thing. Don't really use it too much, but hey, it's there. And over here, we got a 50 inch TV. This computer, the graphics card, uh, let me look it up real quick. Let's see. Oh, it's on here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It has the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti with 6 gigs of built-in RAM. That can actually support up to 4 monitors. So at some point they're adding another one. Like over here or something. Maybe up there. Who knows, we'll see. But so far I've had... Virtually no issues from this computer. Alright, hold on one second. Alright, there we go. Yep, 
Yep, so far, this computer's been really great. I've loved it. I did buy two more 4 gig sticks to come go in it for a total of 16 gigs. But unfortunately, Assassin's Creed Valhalla still loves to skip. It'll play great for an hour while I'm live streaming it. Then out of nowhere, start swinging, start like buffering, freezing up. So right now, let's grab it. Yeah, I got the Iron Man gaming chair. Got these to go inside. Let's see, let's say what's the size. Let's see, it's a little backwards, but oh, I just, I just saw it a minute ago. Yeah, right there, 32 gigs. So I've got two of these. I'm gonna swap out two of the current RAM inside of it. So 32 and eight, give me about 40 some odd gigs, something like that. That should include, what? Don't math wrong, apologize. That should be 72 gigs of them. I apologize, it's late, I've been up all day. But, so that's the update with it. You see my little setup. Nothing big, nothing fancy. That's just not me. So I wanted me a new desk. I had a really small one beforehand. But I could not justify 400 bucks for one of these. So I built it myself. I love it. Oh, also one more thing. I've got a monitor mount right back there. Come down here, you can see it clamps on to the piece of wood here. Comes in really handy. Also, we've got a little switch. I need to reorganize all this, I've been working on it. What that little switch does is allows me to switch off between my desktop and my PS4. Really cheap. I think I got that one for like $15, I think. Let's move this. So, get that. Got a triple monitor setup. Huh? Not sure what else to go off of. So, we'll come up here. These here, let's see, let's see if I can mount this, make it a little more steady. Zoom in a little bit. Alright, kind of a bad angle, but. Alright, so. So you just. That's the default name for this computer. Oh, sorry about that. So right here is the case I got, the Omega G11 Omega Chassis. I think it's like a medium sized one. It has a 750 watt power supply unit. It works good. As I stated, I have the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti graphics card. It came default, the default setup had the RX 570. There's an AMD model. I'm an NVIDIA fan, so I upgraded to this. And when I did this computer, they're having deals going on. Some kind of back to school deals. So they would get, by upgraded to a 500 gig SSD. I got another one for free. 
And then this one here, the 2 terabyte, it was a 750 gig hard drive. Upgrade to 2 terabyte, and they'll be doing gaming, videos, I want the extra storage. Like right here, I, it came, I had bought it with 8 gigs of RAM. Then like I said, I added 8 more for 16. I'm going to take tools out, add the 64 gig. So actually, let's go ahead and update this. 70, let's see, and Trident Z RGB. Let's see, zoom out a little bit. There we go. And then, of course, you have your Microsoft Windows 10, which is the operating system, 64 bit. Then the MSI Z490 Gaming Plus, that's my motherboard. They have an Intel Core i5, things like, oh, 4.2 gigahertz. Let's see. Eh, yeah, long thing. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I was almost correct. 4.1 gigahertz. Six cores. Here's all the system information. Like right there, currently got 16 gigs inside of it. It works, it works great for Warzone and streaming. And Valhalla by itself works. But when I'm streaming using that Streamlabs OBS, it loves to freeze up. So that's kind of the update on the computer. I love it. The company was the company was great. The website is easy to do. And they got built. Shipped to me was in wonderful packaging. So that's all for that. Have any questions? Go ahead and comment down below. Like, subscribe, and watch some more. Hey, we'll be back.